What's up everyone, it's Awana Turtle and this is a quick uh, setup update. We recently acquired two cool, very cool posters of Mewtwo and Mew with a galaxy style silhouette. Uh, if you're interested in getting yourself one of these, let me know and I'll post the link um, from the artist's website. So for today, we are opening another one of these Mel Metal GX packs. They do have two team up packs, so hopefully we can get that uh, Magic Card Warlord. And just for a quick bookshelf update, just so show off some stuff that I do collect. And if you do see anything that you are interested in seeing opened, uh, let me know in a comment. And if there's a lot of support for a certain one, uh, maybe that's what we'll do. Uh, for example, like this Final Fantasy or Force of Wills, just some different stuff. And lastly, a recently uh, new card that I acquired is this Flareon Gold Star from the EX Power Keepers set all the way back in 2007. So during my hiatus from Pokemon during like high school and college, uh, in the beginning of my professional life, uh, still filling in some of the blanks or some of the gaps. And this card is by no means perfect condition, probably looking at a PSA 7 or 8 if I'm lucky. Um, but this is a really cool set. So from that, there's three gold star cards for the three evolutions. And just so you know, like a box of EX Power Keepers on eBay would probably run you about over oh, thousands of dollars at this point. So with all that being said, let's get into the next part of the video. All right, guys, let's get into this Metal Metal GX box. So in these things, we have two team of packs as well as a forbidden light and then lastly, a XY era car or pack, which uh, never too crazy about seeing, as well as the two promos. And so the Meltan and then the Mel Metal itself, which to be honest, I'm not very crazy about it. I feel like that card's kind of underwhelming. So I'll just grab this stuff. And again, we do have that jumbo, jumbo card and a quick A code card for those that play the online card game. There you guys go. Who's off the side? All right, first pack, we have a Fates Collide. cards in a different orientation which always throws me off and I think for XY it's three cards to the back so for the first pack we have a Brixen Fairy Garden Team Rocket's Handiwork Volibee uh, that one's also in uh, team up Fennekin Wismer Mancino ooh, a Gothica a Shuckle Reverse and ooh, a Mew Mew Hollow just pretty nice. Put this off in over here. And then we're going to move on to Forbidden Light. Forbidden Light. Let's see, what do we want? I think we just want that Ultra Necrozma. Code card. And since we're in Sun and Moon, so that's four cards. So we start off with the Fire Energy, Slagoo, Zygarde. Howlucha, Scrub, Bergmite, Binacle, Bunnelby, Snover. Just kissing a lot of those and go. All right, so we do have a Beast Energy, which is pretty good, and then a Aegis Slash. Regular rare. All right, so we do have a Prism Star. Happy with that. And then we're moving on to our two tag team packs. You guys, I'm sure at this point everyone knows what we're looking for. card all right fire energy sabrina suggestion tor cat jinx helioptile some eggs this pharaoh seed thing ball pit warp cat geodude pancham reverse and then a lapras regular rare all right last pack so far this opening is just okay let's see if you can't end it with the with a hit. All right. Fairy Energy, Spiritomb, Heliolisk, Jasmine, Alolan Geodude, Paris, Joltik, Blitzel, Squirtle, very cute. Reverses the Kakuna, and then we have a Bronzong. Um, this card, 
uh, given if Blacephalon is still going to be um, in the meta, I can see this card being somewhat relevant. All right, so that's it for the opening, and we're going to move to the next part of the video. All right, guys, for the last part of this video, we're doing a sneak peek of the upcoming Reshiram and Charizard Tag Team GX card that's going to be in the Unbroken Bond set, set to be released in May, as well as just came out in Japan in the Double Blaze set. So let's talk about the artworks first. Uh, I'm going to rank them, and I think on the bottom is actually the full art version, uh, which is pretty cool, but kind of has this red background with uh, to go with Charizard's orange, and then contrasting Reshiram's white, which is so that one's pretty cool and then we have the hyper rare slash rainbow rare variant which is kind of that new gold standard um again it's the same art but it's the rainbow version next we have the regular gx which to be honest i like better than those former two uh just the fact that they're kind of attacking i feel is slightly cooler than those former ones and lastly we have the full art alternate art um which kind of has the two back to back with all this destruction going around the background so that one by far is my favorite on to the card itself. So, Reshi Ram Charizard has a whopping 270 HP and for one fire and one colorless, we have Outrage, which is an attack we've seen before. So, this one does a base of 30 plus all the damage that is on Reshi Ram and Charizard. So, a reminder with 270 HP, I feel like this is probably its best attack. Um, I feel like when this thing's on, on the as on the active uh your opponent is forced to a situation where you have to one shot this thing otherwise the crack back with outrage is probably going to knock out whatever you have uh for three fire and one colorless we have flare strike which does 230 and you cannot use this attack next turn so i feel like the energy cost plus its disadvantage if you can't use the attack twice in a row makes this not very viable and lastly it's gx attack which is the double blaze gx which does 200 damage for three fire and if you have an additional three fire um that does an additional 100 damage uh do my honest, to be honest this feels very weak for a gx attack um I feel like even if it wasn't a GX attack, it still wouldn't be strong enough. Uh, so there you guys have it. Just a sneak peek on the upcoming Reshi Ram Charizard card. Um, and thanks for watching to the end of the video. I'm Awana Turtle, guys. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Quick update for, for the giveaway for everyone that's excited about it. So we are in the home stretch of our sub requirement. Uh, so it shouldn't be too much longer. And just to show off some of the cards from that set, this is the shiny Mewtwo. Uh, you might recognize his art from the Shining Legends. Uh, that's where that test tube Mewtwo came from. We have Gardevoir and I like this card uh, when Gardevoir dropped in Pokemon Go. I was hunting those Ralts down, uh, walking it, doing whatever I could to get that Gardevoir. Sylveon GX. Uh, I particularly like this one. I'm, in case you guys haven't noticed, I do have a Sylveon plush and it's really nostalgic for me. It reminds me of my trip to Japan where I got that plush from one of those UFO vending machines. And then we start moving to some of the meta defining cards. Starting with the gold Tapu Lele with his wonder tag. That's the only thing that's important here. Uh, basically tutor up any supporter from your deck. And speaking of the supporters, we have the two full art supporters and we'll start with Cynthia. Um, super meta defining basically allows you to search uh cycle through your deck shuffle your your hand into your deck and then draw six new cards and then lastly is guzma um this card is so powerful allows you to swap out your opponent's pokemon for a pokemon from their bench as well as for yourself as well so um you know gets allows you to make two two uh moves and just to line up knockouts really easy for you and lastly we have the two most sought after cards in the ultra shiny set in rayquaza gx and charizard gx so these are both the shiny variant so they're both kind of like the dark color versus their traditional colors and yeah be really excited if one of the subscribers picked up one of these guys in their booster pack so again we are getting very close to that 100 subscriber mark so um, definitely be sure to check out all the future videos in the near future thanks